A pleasant day to all my students. Welcome back to Social Science class. In today's class, we shall start a new chapter from sociology. Chapter number two, culture. Children, you can refer in the textbook page number one hundred and forty-two. That is page number one hundred and forty-two. In this chapter, let's learn about meaning. a nature of culture origin of culture definitions of culture types of culture features of culture before entering the chapter i just want to give you some pictures and few questions i'm going to ask you did you observe this picture what did you understand children why they are all not the same Have you observed here? India is known for its multicultural diversity. There are many languages spoken in our country, and people of India are following different customs, traditions, rituals that we know. So you can see here the different rituals, customs which are followed by different region people. and even the food also you can see it's differ from place to place this is second pick have you seen here in one picture there are animals and in other picture you can see there are people who are very close to each other have you observed the difference you wouldn't have seen the animals the different animals or very close or having a bonding with with each other only the man is like this it's not like other animals if you see unlike animals humans are not controlled by their instincts humans are not are able to adapt to change the environment and they are easy to adapt to and they are ready to change the environment the way groups and societies deal with the environment is a foundation for the culture so that only in last chapter that is in the previous chapter in the introduction to sociology we have learned that man is a social animal and he cannot live alone that also we have learned man lives in the midst of his own people so human is a social being so this was the thing which we have learned in the previous class did you observe the activities around you children have you seen the activities there are different festival celebration wedding celebration food clothing faith customs value and behavior so it differ from one society people to other and as well as from different community there are uh, different communities are celebrating different festivals depends on their religion depends on their customs and traditions did you all observe all these things yes so everywhere we can see a variety of celebrations food dress festivals faith language customs art value and behavior so all these all of these can be identified in a single concept or as in a single word do you know what's the children that is culture that is nothing but culture now let's learn about meaning and nature of culture in detail so human being is not only a social being but also a cultural being so the culture is a one which keeps human beings different from animals so culture is a main thing which keeps the human beings different from animals so every human being is considered as cultural representative they are the representative of their own culture the human beings are the representative of their own culture so if you see here the culture and society are two faces of the same coin we can consider it like this the culture and the society are the two phases of the same coin why is it like that i'll explain you C 
culture is experienced within the society. What do you mean by society? The group of people. What do you mean by society? The group of people. It is a social bond of people together in a society through which culture gets reflected. Understood? So because of the bonding between the people together in a society follows the same kind, a same sort of a tradition and customs, which as a culture, it's getting reflected in the society. Both are dependent on each other existence. It is coexistent because culture and society existing together. Culture cannot exist in vacuum in the air without the society. And hence, society is a platform for representation of the culture. Did you understand children? So that we are calling culture and society are the two faces of the same coin. The human beings, social, religious, political, economical and spiritual aspects are decided by culture. You can see in the picture. So in the circle, the human actions. If you see, the first layer is about artifacts and products. That is what you see, taste, smell, visible signs, source of stereotypes. And next one is rules and regulation, the norms what we follow and the values which we adapt. How I should behave, how a person has to behave. What? How he is behaving by seeing the other people, by seeing the society. And how I aspire to behave. The values are how I aspire to behave. And in the inner layer, basic assumptions, which are implied, like breathing. You don't even think about it, right? So it is implicit. Understood? So the culture directs our actions. The culture is the one which directs our actions. So human beings, social, religious, political, economic and spiritual aspects are decided by culture and this culture is considered as a main aspect of social change if you want to do any changes in the society the social change if it, if it has to take place the culture is a main aspect and it is considered as a biological system of social tradition culture indicates progress in lifestyle music literature, art, science and technology of any given human society. So in the human society, the culture is the one which indicates the progress, the improvement of the lifestyle, whether in the music, literature, art, science and technology. And it makes human society meaningful and unique. So each community have their own culture. Each country has their own culture. If you see each state in our country, having their own culture. This culture makes human society meaningful and unique. The word culture is used in specific sense in sociology and anthropology. The culture means transfer of knowledge, experience, belief, value, behavior, hierarchy, relationship from generation to generation. Hence, the culture is called as a system of life and knowledge shared among a social group. So usually how the culture is being transferred from parents to their children and children are adapting the culture by seeing the by following their parents and adhering to the societal norms by seeing their friends that is peer group and kings and non-kings. So, the culture is transferring from one generation to another generation. It can be a language or actions, behavior. So, culture is being transferred from one generation to another. For example, language. The language a child is learning from their parents first. Seeing their parents, they started learning. Once if they entered the school, they have started, they are started to learning different languages. So, the human culture is transferring from one generation to another. From the parents, 
from the society, from their friends, from teachers, kins and non-kins. Culture means a life pattern of a group of people. We can see the culture as what? The life pattern of a certain group of people. It contains the life symbols along with the beliefs and values. Usually they are transferred from one generation to another. For example, the customs and practices what we are following in wedding. wedding. During the wedding time you can see. So each uh, uh, religion or else the community are having different rituals and customs. Customs and practices during the wedding celebration. Which is passed from one generation to another. Now let's learn about the word the origin of the word culture origin of the word culture the word culture if you see it has come from the latin word the term culture originated from two latin words that is collier and cultus the collier is a verb which means to till the land and the participle cultus means planted or cultivated in a way Culture is similar to a society's harvest or all that a people cares for, practices and produces. And culture is a key focus of sociology because it is a feature that distinguishes one human group from another. Depends on the culture only we are dividing the people. Like they are belonging to this community, the other community. Depends on the culture we are distinguishing the human gr group from one to this word, the culture <coughs> in the Middle Ages used to denote the progressive method of cultivation of the grain. So there appeared a term of agriculture. And later on, it was transferred for the culture of human group. Now let's learn about the definitions of culture. According to E.B. Tyler, culture is that complex whole which includes knowledge, belief, art, rules and regulations, traditions and any other capabilities owned by the human being as a member of society. So what is the definition according to E.B. Tyler? According to him, culture is that complex whole which includes knowledge, Belief, art, rules and regulations, traditions and any other capabilities earned by the human being as a member of society. So this definition was given by E.B. Taylor. He was telling that culture, if you see the culture is a complex whole, uh, the society, if you see in the society, the knowledge of the society, belief, art, and rules and regulations which has been adopted by the society, tradition and other capabilities which were earned by the human being is called as culture. And the next de definition was given by Melinowski. According to him, the tool created by human being to design his aims of life is called as culture. According to Melinowski, the tool, the culture is a tool created by human being to design his aims of his life is called as culture. Did you understand these two definitions children? Now let's move on to the types of culture. So culture can be divided into two that is material culture and non-material culture. So what is culture? The culture is all the shared products of human groups. The shared products can be a knowledge, beliefs, values, language, literature, food, dress, music, art, festivals, games. All are coming under culture. So these are the shared products among the human groups. Now, according to Ogburn, Ogburn has divided the culture into two. That is material and non-material culture. Now let's see what is material culture. The material culture or the physical objects that people create, created and using. Understood? The material culture includes all those physical objects that are visible to eyes and the tools used by human beings. Understood? And next is 
non material culture the non material culture or abstract human creations which are the abstract human creations for example the beliefs you cannot see it's not visible non material culture culture means the abstract human creations the abstract means which cannot be seen for example beliefs family patterns ideas language political and economic systems and rules so these are non material culture so non material culture includes thoughts ideas beliefs and values so here you can see the visible aspects and non visible aspects the visible aspects are material culture and non material aspects are which is non visible aspects so now let's see the visible aspects the visible aspects are language literature music food dress music visual art festivals and games whereas in the non visible aspects communication style how we are communicating with one people to another the way of communication beliefs values notions of time handling physical space handling emotions ethics competitions versus cooperation notions of modesty these are non visible so these are the two types of culture now let's learn about the features of culture there are six features we are going to learn under culture let's see what are those culture is abstract first point is culture is abstract second culture is social third culture is learnt fourth culture means coexistence fifth culture is continuous sixth culture is diverse now all these six features we learn now in detail first point is culture is abstract so why are we calling it as abstract culture exist in the minds or habits of the members of society which is not visible understood culture exist in the minds or habits of the members of the society culture means lifestyle of a social group if you see what is culture it's a lifestyle of that particular society the accepted way of life is carried from one generation to another this process of shifting remains abstract so it depends on the minds or habits of the people hence culture is abstract so the lifestyle which is carried out by a society which is passed from one generation to another and it depends on the minds or habits of the people who are following it the next point is culture is social already we have seen society what do you mean by social it's nothing but society the group of people and already we have seen that culture and society are the two phases of the same coin culture does not exist in isolation culture cannot exist alone it needs a platform that is the society it needs a platform to exist which is a platform society is a platform and it is a product of society yes it is outcome of the society if you see with the society only the culture exist it originates and develops through social interactions how it is developing how it is getting how it is uh, originated that is because of the social interactions as we have seen the language literature art festival customs beliefs all the here the material culture if you see it is a physical objects that people create and use according to ogborn material culture is created by human beings by converting natural resources into man made structures like house building bridge road dam machines production centers industries computer technology and others though see these were the material culture 
and these material culture is called as civilization material culture undergoes change undergoes change swiftly and non material culture if you see which means human achievements it can be a tradition belief rituals customs moral values ideals art literature religion language and many other other examples of non material culture when compared to material culture non material culture undergoes slow change it is undergoing a slow change because it is the tradition believes all all these are slowly undergoing the change tradition which was followed by the tradition and customs which was these are very difficult to get change adapt the changes so non material changes or uh, non material culture undergoes slow change and this material culture if you see it is visible these are the visible aspects and non material culture or non visible aspects so the visible aspects of material culture as we have seen house building and apart from even the language what we speak literature music food dress music visual art festivals games these are coming under material culture and in the non material culture it includes even the communication style of the people beliefs of the people values of the particular society ideas about the time notions of time handling physical space handling emotions how they are able to handle their emotions ethics followed by the society in competitions versus cooperation how they are competing with each other how they are cooperating with each other and ideas about the modesty so these are the non visible aspects which comes under non material culture now do you understand the types of culture children yes let's move on to features of culture there are six features we are going to learn under culture let's see what are those culture is abstract first point is culture is abstract second culture is social third culture is learnt fourth culture means coexistence fifth culture is continuous sixth culture is diverse now all these six features will learn now in detail first point is culture is abstract so why are we calling it as abstract culture exist in the minds or habits of the members of society which is not visible understood culture exist in the minds or habits of the members of the society culture means lifestyle of a social group if you see what is culture it's a lifestyle of that particular society the accepted way of life is carried from one generation to another this process of shifting remains abstract so it depends on the minds or habits of the people hence culture is abstract so the lifestyle which is carried out by a society which is passed from one generation to another and it depends on the minds or habits of the people who are following it the next point is culture is social already we have seen society what do you mean by social it's nothing but society the group of people and already we have seen that culture and society are the two phases of the same coin culture does not exist in isolation culture cannot exist alone it needs a platform that is the society it needs a platform to exist which is a platform society is a platform and it is a product of society yes it is the outcome of the society if you see with the society only the culture exist it originates and develops through social interactions the language customs traditions beliefs and values all these things are 
transfer from one generation to another and the culture is the one which are shared by the members of the society and no man can acquire culture without association with other human beings without other human beings a man cannot acquire the culture means which cannot he cannot learn the culture without the association without the help of others man becomes man only among men it is a culture which helps man to develop human qualities in a human environment tolerance patience values all these qualities are developed only in the human environment that's why man becomes man only among men the third point culture is learnt as we know that culture does not come by birth it is not nature made either so if you see the culture it is not comes from the nature and it is not by birth they are knowing about it this gets formed in the interactions with various members of the society once a child started interacting with the other members of the society then he starts learning culture this means a child receives culture through the process of socialization what do you mean by socialization it means get interacting with the society being in the society behaviors learn through interactions with various people discussion is called culture so the behavior which we are learning through interaction with other people and discussion is called culture usually children used to learn from their parents teachers elders in the house and from their friends that is peer group so now did you understand why culture is learnt why we are calling culture is learnt because learning from others it's not by birth or it's not by nature we have the culture it is being transformed or it is formed in a individual through the interaction with various various members of the society and the fourth point is culture means coexistence culture gives opportunities to every individual to share their ideas with others thus culture assures sharing opportunities thus we can call culture is shared this ensures sharing of traditions values knowledge beliefs and other aspects which are necessary for the human existence and fifth feature is culture is continuous every culture grows imbibing new aspects into it the art imagination rules and regulations get formulated into a complex environment it sustains itself with minor changes for example you can see the computer so how it's being changed from one generation to another so the growth of the computer you can see so how it has been changed with minor changes in the complex environment it's adapted by all human now we are using the computer even in the androids android or else in the smart phones so the culture is continuous so we are calling the culture is continuous with minor changes and in this environment the culture is continuing with the new aspects into it next one is culture is diverse for the diversity our country is the finest example so you can see in our country every social group has its own culture culture is not uniform so we can call the culture is not uniform aspects of culture like customs moral values art belief language used to differ from one society to another the difference is also visible in rural urban and tribal society if you see the rural area people urban area people and tribal people are completely different from each other even the food habits also differing from each other the difference is visible 
when compared while seeing for example you can see the south karnataka with north karnataka the food habits habits and the society the people the way of uh, language what they have spoken what they are speaking it's differ from one uh, from south karnataka to north karnataka not only this even people who are living in the same place tend to have different culture uh in the bangalore you can see multicultural people are living together so different culture are followed by different group of people so what is the main thing is achieving unity in this diversity is very important and our country is definitely we can call it's a finest example as i have told it's a finest example for unity in diversity with different culture language religion community we are united as an indian children in today's class we have learnt about meaning and nature of culture origin of the word culture definitions of culture types and features of culture so under features of culture we have learnt six points that is culture is abstract culture is social culture is learnt culture means coexistence culture is continuous culture is diverse so these are the six points which we have learnt under feature children in next class we'll learn about importance of culture relationship between culture and society and importance and significance of cultural rituals and diversity hope you all would have understood this lesson now let's move on to home assignment so the home assignment you have to write two definitions of culture which was already given in your textbook as well as in the video class i have mentioned so for this answer you can refer page number 143 in your textbook so both the definitions you have to write which was uh, given by ab e. tyler as well as malinowski so both the def definitions you have to write in your home assignment and next mention the two types of culture according to ogburn the two types of culture are material and non material culture and third question give some examples of material culture so examples of material culture material culture is the answer is material culture is created by human beings by converting natural resources into man made structures like house building bridge road dam machines production centers industries computer technology and others fourth question is what is culture culture means the transfer of knowledge experience belief value behavior hierarchy relationship from generation to generation hence culture is called as a system of life and knowledge shared among a social group i repeat the answer culture means the transfer of knowledge experience belief value behavior hierarchy relationship from generation to generation hence culture is called as a system of life and knowledge shared among a social group fifth one list out the features of culture the features of culture are given in six points right the features of culture are culture is abstract culture is social culture is learnt culture means coexistence culture is continuous culture is diverse so these are the six points you have to write it for features of culture children write neatly your home assignment without any mistakes next move on to who workbook assignment in workbook assignment in the page number 99 first main fill in the blanks you have to write question number 1 2 3 and in page number 99 and 100 second main 
Answer the following briefly. Question number 1 to 5. And in page number 100 and 101, third main, answer in 4 or 5 sentences that you have to write. Question number 1 to 3. And in page number 102, first main, choose the best answers. Question number 1 and 2. So, children, refer your answer key. In answer key book, page number 27, you have to refer and write the answers. So, write your answers in your workbook neatly and correctly, children. Let's see you in the next class. Thank you, children.